All right, Algebra 2 Stud Ints. Welcome back to the drive through. Hungry? Third bell? Stop by the deli. Get yourself some, uh, maybe some peanut butter filled pretzels. Nothing wrong with that. Okay, so this is number 16 through 20 from 1 6. It's going to help you for your test. Okay? These are your review questions. The mistakes that are made in number 16 tend to just be distributing these negative signs wrong. So you got 1, think about this as like a minus 1 times x. So negative x, a negative 1 times a negative 5 is a positive 5. 3, again, think about like that, like a minus 1 out in front of there. A negative 1 times 3x is a negative 3x. A negative 1 times a negative 5. So that's what we get. Now we just combine like terms in the first step. So 1 and 5 make 6, and 3 and 5 make 8. I'm going to add 3x to both sides to keep my x is positive. And because I'm a positive guy, that gives you 6 plus 2x equals 8. Subtract 6, 2x equals 2, so x equals 1, okay? 17. You guys are having a hard time with these. You can do these. Remember, my first piece of advice was don't get intimidated. Okay? So, what are we solving this for? We're solving this for H. I don't like fractions. So, when I can, I'm going to get rid of them first. What's the opposite of multiplying by a half? Multiplying by 2. You could say dividing by half, but that's the same thing. Okay? That cancels my fraction, so I have 2a is b times h. That's the hard part of that equation. From there, we're solving it for h. What's being done to the h? It's being multiplied by b. How do you get rid of multiplication? Division. b's cancel. You get h equals 2 times capital A over b. Okay? This one's significantly harder, so I'm just going to rewrite it. Okay. Solving it for H. So the first thing I need to do is get rid of this plus. So I'm going to subtract 2 pi r squared from both sides. You get s minus 2 pi r squared equals 2 pi r h. What are we solving for? h. What's being done to the h? It's being multiplied by 2 pi r. So I am going to divide both sides by 2 pi r. So you end up getting h equals s minus 2 pi r squared over 2 pi r. Now, I would take it like that. That would be a totally right answer. But some math, math teacher that was just a little bit more particular than me would want you to split that up. So they would say that's s over 2 pi r minus 2 pi r squared over 2 pi r. This stays the same. See, this is why I don't encourage, I don't need you to do this because I think it's unnecessary. The 2 pi, the r squared is gone. The 2 pi is gone. So it ends up being r over 1. You could have it either way. I actually prefer that way. Okay? All right. Solve this one for u. We've got u's on both sides, so we need to distribute 2 times u plus 6 times v is w minus 5u. We've got no like terms to combine, so we have to get all the u's on the same side. Again, I add 5u because I want it to stay positive. The fewer negatives, the better, I'm, the better I do. 6u or sorry, 7u 
plus 6v equals w. Subtract 6v. 7u is w minus 6v. Divide each side by 7. And you get u is w minus 6v over 7. That was not easy. Okay, and 20, finally, we're going to graph. Um, that's not an absolute value, so this is not an or case. Negative 2 and minus 4 plus 6 is less than 16. Combine like terms. Negative 2 and plus 2 is less than 16. Subtract 2. Negative 2 and is less than Indeed, that is 14 and not 8, for those of you guys that caught that mistake on the answer key. Divide each side by negative 2. Remember, when we divide by negative, what do we got to do to the sign? Flip it. Very good. So you get n is greater than negative 7. It wants us to graph that. And that's my answer. Can I get a boom? Thank you, Adam.